Hi everyone. Hi mom. I finished my journal. Uh, this was a pretty quick one for me. I don't know, it just seemed to come together. Uh, so I'm just going to explain how I did the cover a little bit. It is out of a manila envelope. Um, not sure, I think it's a 9 by 12, I think. No. Yeah. Yeah, 9 by 12. Um, so I took a piece of Tyvek, which is what the security envelopes are made out of. I cut to size, slid it inside the envelope with Mod Podge or Decoupage to adhere it, and let that dry real well. Then I crumpled it up so I could get a lot of wrinkles, and then I went over it with um, reinkers. So this was from Paula Lemon. She had done a tutorial on how she made her covers. So I kind of followed her tutorial, but I changed up a little bit. Um, so I did use vintage photo and I also used old paper. So I mixed two together and once that was dry, then I went over it with um, the Maya Gold. I just put it away. Um, Maya Gold. And it's like a paint. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, but that's where you get all the different colors that are on the raised edges. Uh, decoupaged it and it felt sticky for quite a while and so I had to let it dry for I'd say a couple days and I'm wondering if that's because uh, I tried some distress stains and I think maybe they're too wet and then when I added this it just had a reaction anyway it did eventually dry like it does feel weird but <laughs> it's not sticky anymore it just it sounds sticky but it isn't um, and then I had an old piece of washi, well, tissue tape that I made myself a long time ago, and it was just enough to wrap around the bottom. I felt it needed something. I wasn't going to adhere an image because it's all crinkly and stuff, and I didn't want to cover all that up and make my image look all crinkly too. Uh, added a Butterbee scraps, um, I don't know, metal piece. I don't know what they're called. Filigrees, I guess. And this gold piece here, the oval, is a button that I think you're, you're supposed to put something inside. Well, my Cameo doesn't fit inside, so I glossy accented it um, to the plastic. And then I rubbed it with my gold. I rubbed this and the corner pieces. I only did the front. I didn't do the back. Um, and then I gilded all the edges with the Maya gold added this trim just for to make it a little bit more feminine and then I took my lighter and I burnt all of the netting and and some of the uh, the trim um, yeah I know I'm crazy but <laughs> it's a real simple closure because there's not a lot of depth here uh, I couldn't really get too much so I just did a simple twine is all I did it's not hugely big um, there are 10 um, pages that I designed and then 10 sheets of tea dyed um, printer paper okay so here we go on the inside I used one of my envelopes now I did a tutorial on on this a long time ago so if you're interested in um, you know how I made these little envelopes it's in there somewhere <laughs> So this is part of my uh, kit, and I just simply put a index card in there. So there's the first page, and all of them papers I backed with an image that I had altered. I tea stained some tracing paper. I don't use parchment because you can't write on parchment, and you also can't copy dye it. I mean, you can, but it doesn't look great. And I went light with the tea on this because I did one before um, with coffee and it was so dark I couldn't see my writing on it. So yeah, I decided to go light with the tea. These are all tea stained doilies. I've done nothing to them this time. So part of my kit includes a side belly band. And there are four of these. You can have them as journal cards or in this case I turn them into like a little booklet with uh, an image on either side and then that's another background that I created. 
Um, I stamped using the archival and it's called Cornflower Blue. I wanted to change it up and add a little bit of color here and there. Um, this little pocket is from Michael's, their $1.50 spot. And here's another journaling card that I've done um, so that you can write on both sides. One of the images, it's, it's on like an ephemera sheet, so I cut that out. I did three different tags, so this is one of them, and I, let, I printed them out on cream cardstock with just a little twine topping. Now, I haven't done this yet, but I usually add a dab of glue just so that the twine doesn't come on, undone. But I literally finished this this second, so. <laughs> there, I think this is one of my favorite pages. I really like the way that turned out. So you can see I did stamp. I did put my, um, the tea I used was a green tea and I used, someone's going to ask, so uh, I'll tell you, I used 14 bags in an eight cup measuring cup and I just steep them in hot water. I don't boil the water or anything like that. And I actually forgot about it and let it sit and it got really, really dark. And then I put it directly onto my rack. I saw Andrea Bork do that and I thought that looked really cool. So I did that and it kind of went a little bit pink. It's, it's weird. Some people were saying theirs is green. Mine's a little green here where I didn't, it didn't finish drying uh, and I pulled it out wet. So this part had dried and this part didn't. So this is green. I thought that turned out really awesome. And I include a belly band. Here's another journal card. Um, here's the second tag. I just stuck one of these little index cards. There's the second tag. So lots of um, space for journaling there. My little butterfly is, um, oh, who's that by? It'll come to me. <laughs> memory box. I told you. <laughs> and I added a little trim. Um, don't ask me. I think it's Pippa. I think it's Pippa. So if you want to go looking for that. Uh, dream. And then this is um, Martha Stewart, which I covered in Angel Wings Gold, which is a Lindy's uh, embossing powder. Now these were gifted a whole bunch of these cards, which are awesome. I love this one. Um, from, who gave that to me? Um, we just swapped Val. Uh, we just did a personal swap. That My last journal was for her. And she had sent me um, some goodies. So I'm using the journal cards because they're perfect. The only thing I want to do is I want to tea stain them to darken them up. So I also included um, a side, well a corner pocket. And there's two in here. You'll see the other one. Uh, fussy cut that one out, so that's part of the ephemera. And there's another journal card. I really love this page too. And then that's the third image of the four images that I created. And I turned this one into just a flip. And then this is one of those Michaels uh, cheapo doilies. Uh, I had trouble with mine, so somebody had recommended that if you lightly spritz them with water, that they'll come apart. Because mine were sticking so bad they were tearing. Um, this is also part of the ephemera pack. And then I made it so you could flip it open so you could write right underneath it. Uh, I created a little library pocket. It is quite tiny. And then that's the insert for it. And there are lines on the back. Um, that's part of the ephemera pack, and then that's the third tag. Uh, here's another one of those cards from Val. Now, I added this, this is one of the cards as well, and I added that because I, I stamped and it did not turn out, so I covered it over uh, with a pocket, and I just used some trim from Shirley McCullough, and I don't know where, I think I got that eBay. 
uh, and then added a little bling. It just needed a little something, something. So I added some bling in the colors that sort of go with the roses here. Uh, this one's also a tuck, so that's the fourth image. And like I said, they can be journal cards or whatever you want them to be. Uh, this was just left over. I had cut it off the bottom of something. It was folded in half, so I thought, oh, I'll just do a double banner. And then that's part of the ephemera pack as well, and I just covered it in... First I did frontage in the gold, and then I covered the whole thing in a clear embossing powder. Um, I'm not sure how well that's showing up, but there you go. A little bit of eyelash trim. There's another one of the cards. There's the other page. I don't know what page we're up to, but... <laughs> Uh, a side banner with another Martha Stewart butterfly, another postcard. And then I added a little lace here on the corner. I didn't want to cover the image, but I wanted a little spot for the teeny tiny little envelope that is also included in the kit. And then I made tiny little lined journaling cards. And if you want, you can print on the back side of your ephemera so that you have you know, like a cream background or whatever. In this case, I didn't really care. And then this covers the center stitching, and I just added a little bit of uh, lace and some stamping, and then there's more postcards in here. So there's tons of journaling in this journal. Some more stamping. There's the back side. So now we're going to see all the back sides, and most of them have a frame. I really like doing frames uh, and I like fading things out so that you've got another spot that you can journal on. Uh, this was gifted from Denise and it was um, a thicker chipboard so I peeled off the chipboard and then made um, it. You can slide a photo inside here. It actually does go right underneath. Um, and then this is part of the ephemera pack as well. So you can it does have like a circle behind it so you can cut it as a circle and leave it that way or in this case I fussy cut it out in into the um, scalloped. You can tell I like butterflies. <laughs> Added a pocket here for a journaling spot but I didn't adhere it. I left it so you could write underneath it. Sprayed it with some Lindy's um, Rusty Lantern Lime was the color of that. Didn't realize that the ribbon I was adding was yellow. I thought it was green because I didn't have all my lights on, but it actually goes okay. And I did staple it. Um, I wasn't sure how well the glue would hold it down. So there's another oval. And now I'm, I'm stenciling because I had no... Um, ephemera on the pages to cover up the stamping so it would bleed through so I went with stenciling. Uh, if you don't want things to bleed through that's what you can do. Um, and there's the second corner pocket uh, with, I don't know, I think that's the fourth one? I'm not sure. Uh, Tim Holtz ticket just layered some. <laughs> I went through, I gotta show you this. This is my container with my flowers, and I have another box of them somewhere. I don't know. I bought, I bought a box from Michael's because I needed flowers, clearly. This is pared down. I went through them and tossed a whole bunch of them. And so, yeah, I don't need flowers for any time soon. But I wanted to start using them in my journals because they're paper, they're pretty flat, and I've just started using more of my homemade enamel dots. Um, here's uh, a journaling card or again a booklet. I kind of intended it as a booklet but you can certainly cut it apart. I keep saying this but you know I, I'm not selling it. <laughs> uh, people are gonna ask me where can I buy it. I, I'm, I'm not selling them. Not right now. I, I can't devote that much time to uh, doing this. Maybe when I retire uh, in a year or so, I, I might decide to open an Etsy store, but for right now, nope. It's just uh, way too much work. I have a hard time keeping up with you guys on YouTube, so 
Um, that's not going to happen. I added an, an envelope, one of those ginormous ones. I had to cut part of it off. And, you know, you just, I mean, you've seen this a million times. But I added a thumb hole so you could get in there a little bit easier. I'm not all that thrilled. I think it's a little too big, the envelope. I should have cut it down this way as well, shorten it. I find it kind of interferes a little bit with turning the page, but it is what it is. Um, some more stenciling. See, you can see in spots it is green. It's kind of cool. I think I'm going to try, uh, we sell a tea called Passion Tea, and it's, I think it'll dye pink. I'm going to try it, see what happens. And then stencil, live, love, and dream. Now this butterfly, everybody knows it's the Tim Holtz, but um, Val had sent me three of them, and I don't have this one. I have the duo, the smaller versions of this. And I went over it with Vintage Photo, and then I went over it with some embossing powder, which was the um, Angel Wing Gold, the Lindy's. And while it was still hot, I sprinkled those um, flakes. Actually, there's flakes everywhere. Uh, so that it would stick to the embossing powder. And then I added some gold frontage as well. I don't know if that shows very well. It might be too much light for you, but it is also a tuck spot. So plenty of tuck spots in here. Some music notes. And that's it. I didn't do anything back here. I might. I might put something back here because I don't like seeing the flap. So I might add an image maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the book. Um, so like I said, you just wrap that around just like that. Simple. And it's very, very, very bendy. I really like the feel of it. So that's it. That's what I've been up to. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have an awesome weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.